Uh, so this is where it all started. It's our small, tiny little brewing system. There are hundreds of breweries in Colorado. This is a one and a half barrel system. But this one in Aurora is doing things a little differently. They're coming from around the world wanting to try cannabis infused beer. Yep, you heard that right. Cannabis infused brewskis. Ooh. Let's answer the question you're all asking. Can you get high? Not high and drunk, maybe just drunk. <laughs> yeah, this is the prototype, actually. Meet Mason Hembry, the beer's creator and dude of Dad and Dude's Breweria. He's waited a year to get the federal green light on his recipe and is on his way to selling General Washington's secret stash in all 50 states. You know, when we first released, everybody believed, oh, hey, a Colorado brewery doing that uh, makes sense. Uh, but they didn't think we could sell it outside of Colorado. The coolest part is the fact that we can bring the debate about cannabis and beer to the entire country. But before getting the go-ahead from the government, he needed to get past a much higher authority. My anti-alcohol, anti-pot mom. I really actually have always had a negative attitude about um, marijuana. Although she's a brewery co-owner, she's not a drinker and definitely doesn't smoke weed. We don't have pot in our beer. There's no THC in it. Why would anyone put pot or THC in a beer. I could think of a few reasons. <laughs> but after some explaining, her son convinced her of what some consider potential medical and therapeutic benefits of the cannabis plant that doesn't cause a high. But I honestly don't think it's the big evil thing that I always thought it was. If you think this latest brew is a fad, beer drinkers say the IPA is actually pretty good. I've already had two. <laughs>